what are we doing today? Well, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at some of the camera equipment we use for the channel. Uh, the channel's been out for a few years now. I'm not a professional camera person by any means, and some of it was trial and error. A lot of it was YouTube University, and luckily I do have some friends that are good photographers and have experience with videography and have helped me get the right equipment or go through certain phases and budget. Not a lot of car stuff for us this weekend. We had a lot of stuff to do at home. We're in the home office today. It's hot. It was hot this weekend. Um, there was just nothing going on. Took care of some chores. Did some work. But we're going to go ahead and do a quick video on the camera equipment. So currently we're on our GoPro Hero 9 which is the newest piece of equipment we have but I'm going to end up switching after we cover the other stuff on the table I'll switch cameras and uh, then we'll go over the Hero 9. Alright let's get to it. Alright one of the most non very entertaining pieces of equipment is our tripod and yes that's a Texas paint bucket that I use in the trash can. But yeah this is our tripod. A lot of this stuff was ordered on Amazon uh, and I'll put some links up to uh, the parts I got. This is a newer, newer. It's got, uh, this actually separates and can be, you take this guy off, it unscrews off, as you can see, and uh, allows you to uh, turn it into a monopod by removing this arm and attaching the head to that arm. This is a fully adjustable head. It's just a really, really sturdy model. This part can telescope up and down, <clears throat> as you can see. And then obviously full movement, it has a detachable piece. That's it. So this just slides in here and locks in place. <clears throat> this particular tripod, you can find really inexpensive ones for $25, $30. Uh, this one's about, I believe we paid $80, $85 for this one. It is a lot sturdier, it's built better, it, the legs are thicker, gauge material, I believe it's all aluminum, it's, it is super lightweight, it can get compact. This is our camera bag, we've had this for quite a while, and for reference, it's not very big, okay, uh, let's just take one of the rulers here, there you go, that's a 12 inch ruler. So it's a nice compact bag that we've used Gosh, I've had this forever. It has three exterior pockets, and in here we can take our lens caps, got our charger, extra SD cards, and when we have this fully loaded, it carries all the equipment I need with the exception of the tripod, the big tripod. But it's a good, good bag. I think we paid 25 bucks. I don't think I'll have a link for this. They may not have the same exact one anymore. I bought this bag about five years ago. Let's get to the table. All right, I went ahead and disconnected the microphone because, well, I'm using it <laughs> to show you. Uh, so we're going off the mic from the Hero 9 at the moment. So this is the GoPro Hero 9's native or natural microphone. And this is our uh, external mic. It's got a stand on it, so if we take this completely apart. This is the little higher stand I have. This allows me to go into the uh, onto the camera and actually rotate it because the uh, the adapters, you, as some of you know, there's only one way this can slide on and, it, and in the standard position this would only, if you didn't have the stand, the microphone would only face the direct, either front or back. You can't make it sideways. Sometimes I want to put the microphone sideways so it can pick up sound from both ends. So I put it onto this guy, okay, so I'll, and, uh, I, I'll try to put it onto that guy. And then I can rotate the stand if I want to, or if I want to have sound being picked up directly in front of me and I want to switch it really quick, I can just loosen the top and rotate the microphone towards me. All right. Now this stand also is nice because the GoPro has a wild, wild, wide uh, field of view. So with the fuzzy cat 
the microphone will still it'll pick up on the very top of the lens here so getting the stand a little higher above the camera allows you in windy situations to use the fuzzy cat so there you go we're gonna put this back together and we're gonna put it on the camera again all right microphones back on let's go over some of the other components now my tried and true I started off years ago with the Sony Alpha or A5000 which I no longer have that camera was really really good but it didn't have a lot of detach or a lot of lens options at least in an affordable price range uh, the new alphas are great the new a you know I think they're up to 7500 now they're great cameras from Sony but I'm used to Canon from the old film days you know where you had an actual film that went in here uh, I did a lot of camera work back in college in the uh, you know late 90s uh, you know for the school newspaper and stuff but nothing like we're doing now technology has changed so I went to a Canon M10 which is a mirrorless camera that's not this guy got rid of that one and then and then I believe I was at two years ago about a year and a half ago I upgraded to the Canon M50 which is one of the newer versions of their mirrorless camera from Canon the nice thing is you have detachable lenses and there's a there's a lot of variety of lenses in the Canon lineup from various other manufacturers as well that'll adapt to the mirrorless lens of the can, uh, of the Canons. The M50 is great. I love it. It's got a a nice uh, uh, well resolution screen. Let's uh, turn this guy on. You can t see what it looks like. It looks like a traditional Canon in regards to all the buttons. Okay, you can rotate the screen. In any direction okay which is nice you touch to focus and I believe I have I have this set to manual focus right now but it, you know uh, you just go into the settings you can change it to, to, to auto focus and then the nice thing is if you are vlogging you can flip it around hey look there's me there's that other camera this is a really nice camera and I believe it's probably one of the, in my opinion, again, I'm not a professional, but in my opinion, it's one of the better startup cameras, whoop, startup cameras for if you're trying to start a YouTube channel. This isn't going to break the banks. Cameras are not cheap. They're not inexpensive. But this camera, you can find it on Amazon with a set with the original lens, which uh, I believe is uh, uh, 30 to 55 millimeter. Uh, this is a, a Pancake 22 mil, which is great for vlogging and uh, the type of shots we use and uh, but this lens by itself is a little bit more expensive I believe it's a couple hundred bucks and then but the camera you can get the body if you just want to get the body the body's about five hundred dollars but you can find a whole set with accessories uh, for about six hundred dollars which is not a bad camera she's in 1080p it is not a 4k camera but to get started and give you a variety of lenses that you can adapt to it it's great. The next thing I recommend is if you do have a Canon or a Nikon or something that has lens uh, interchangeability is this guy. This little guy right here is my uh, Viltrox <clears throat> excuse me, uh, mount adapter that adapts the mirrorless lens on the Canon to a full size F frame lens uh, that, that is available through Canon which allows me to get a more larger variety of lenses okay so this is a 28 to 80 uh, I borrowed for uh, my niece's graduation my buddy's uh, 300 zoom lens that adapts to the Viltrox so this is a full frame lens for a full size Canon that adapts through the Viltrox and gives you all the option correction everything onto the mirrorless lens or mirror, mirrorless Canon uh, M50 so this one uh, the adapter is about hundred and eighty dollars these and uh, lenses you can buy for all kinds of different money from a hundred bucks all the way up to thousands of dollars depending on what you're looking for all right as far as adapting okay well let's go with microphone this is just a lapel mic um, off again Amazon's your best friend for some of this stuff. Camera stores aren't as popular as they used to be. Uh, just a lapel mic. 
It's uh, from, Ac this is the Acaso style one. This is, goes to my old Acaso camera, my which I still have, but I don't really use anymore. But it's just an example. I do have another one that just plugs in to the microphone port of the M50 and also onto the um, uh, Hero 9, the uh, GoPro. But it just, the lapel, it clips onto your clothes and you can talk into it. Microphones really up the game when it comes to sound. The little tripod, this little guy, I picked this up. I don't even remember where I got this. I may have gotten this on Amazon. I don't know. But I've used this a couple times where you have to be low. It's just a nice little tripod. Batteries are important. Batteries do not last forever. Um, these are, uh, you know, OEM Canon batteries. Uh, the M50, when I bought it, came with two. Uh, I also have a... a knockoff or replica or whatever overseas made whatever you want to call it uh, battery that goes along with the cannon that adapts to the cannon you can find those they don't last quite as long but it's not bad to have extra ones uh, each battery as far as filming will probably give you about 40 45 minutes of life uh, full you know filming consistently uh, depends on you know a couple of factors you know how you know how much you're using a zoom etc and then jumping back and forth, we're going to the, this is the, uh, the fuzzy, the fuzzy cat. These are great to put over your external mics when it's windy. It really cuts out so much of the wind noise. Yes, the camera, both the GoPro and the M50 have some noise reduction built into it, but this really changes the game. And then next stand I have is my suction cup stand from GoPro. I have another one that's a generic one. looks very similar to this one. This is better quality, you can tell. You can buy the generic or knockoff ones. They're not expensive. These are about $35, $40 uh, from GoPro. Are they worth it? Honestly, they're much better. And there's even better ones than this out in the market. Uh, for your action camera, these work great. They're, I've never had this come off either on the window of my car uh, inside, outside, on the body panels of the car. Uh, you know, so far, so good. Uh, there are a couple other ones. I'm looking into buying uh, a magnetic mount, which I'll update you all on when I get it, uh, hopefully soon here. All right, I'm going to switch cameras, and then I'm going to go to the GoPro, because the GoPro being a little GoPro that a lot of you know, I've added quite a few features to it in regards to just what it has, what I got working on it what I've added to make it a really cool full functional you know set for changing lenses type of camera that works great we'll be right back so we switched over the Canon M50 on the 22 mil the pancake 22 uh, the one we just showed you I have everything for the GoPro split apart here now we already went over all this stuff this is but this is everything really associated to my rig for my GoPro Hero 9 now this is the GoPro Hero 9 I got the cover on this off the side because it adapts into its case the nice thing about this camera I love this camera uh, again I'm not a professional this is not what I do I'm just going over what we do for our uh, you know our channel and maybe it helps you if you're wanting to start out a channel or you want to do something or you want to film some stuff. It's got a nice angle of view. You can record up to 5K, although I don't. I do record at 4K uh, at uh, uh, 4K at 30 frames a minute. It's got a front screen, so when you turn this on, this, the power button's on the side here. There I am. There's the camera. Okay, and then you have your back screen. And the front screen shows you your battery life. Shows you what what a uh, format you're in. I'm sorry, 4K at 24 frames a minute. I apologize. It has uh, light adjustment and everything on this camera, so it's really, really, really nice. It's got it's so many from the original GoPro to now. It's really, really advanced so much. So what I've done is I've added some pieces to allow me to be very versatile with the camera. First of all, and I use this with the M50 as well. This is our uh, our Joby little camera stand. The nice thing is all these arms are pliable. They all bend. You can wrap this around a seat. You can, you know, stand it like a traditional tripod. You can make it flat. 
it is such a cool little tool. These guys are about 50, 60 bucks. I say they're worth it as heck. The head for the movement is super stable. You can adjust it, lock it down. It will not move. It's got a little bit of uh, a balance guy gauge leveling thing. Can't think today. Definitely a must if you're filming. I think this is one of the best things, especially because you can just hold it like this and boom, you got a vlog stick. The um, camera itself, again, has a ton of features. I'm not going to go into all that. There's a bunch of videos out there that cover all that. I'm not a professional. I followed a couple of generic settings. I play the light, uh, which is the EV sensor. Uh, under the settings for the camera for the video on here uh, if it gets a little darker a little lighter you can mess with that that's what it's really nice it's a very versatile camera I bought extra batteries uh, the GoPro comes with two batteries the one I ordered I ordered this directly out GoPro I paid $375 so I won't leave a link for that you just go to the GoPro website they have a deal that if you bundle it with uh, I don't know anything and in this case I bundled it with this guy you can get the camera. I ended up paying about $400 total for the camera. It came with two OEM or official GoPro batteries and also the uh, media attachment, also from GoPro, right here. Okay. And then I ordered on Amazon, and I'll put the link up for that guy for this uh, generic. It, it just says battery pack on it. Uh, it says get battery pack nine for GoPro. And it's a charging little case, so you can charge three batteries. And these work really well. They don't last as long as the OEM GoPro batteries, but I can charge three batteries at once. And it gives me a total of four batteries for the GoPro. One in the camera, three on standby. These get eaten up a little faster than the M50's batteries uh, because of the image stabilization and everything that works. Again, or not again, because I didn't mention it. The image stabilization on the GoPro is awesome. I don't even use a, 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 a gimbal anymore. It's the best I've ever seen. So when I'm walking around, I'm doing, I'm using, uh, this is on full stabilization. Uh, totally worth it, for sure. Uh, I mean, the, the Hero 8 also has this, but if, if you're trying to save a little money, you can pick up the Hero 8 that has the same type of image stabilization. I believe this one's a little bit better, but again, I'm not a professional. The coolest thing I picked up for from Ulanzi, which is a company that makes these aluminum cases. This is the Ulanzi uh, G95 case for the uh, GoPro Hero 9. So with the G95 case, you can enter, or enter, <laughs> put the GoPro in, like so, into the case, and it gives you a hard case with a quarter inch adapter on the bottom it gives you a standoff for your mic it gives you a side standoff for your mic okay so you got a tall and a side all right and it also allows you to slide the media adapter in now the media adapter you cannot use an external mic on this without a media the little media adapter from gopro that's the only downside is it worth it to me it is so it slides in right under here and Okay, so we'll put this guy back in, so that just slides in. It's got little ball bearings like this guy right here on the side and on the top because this is the top shield that locks the camera in, and this just slides in like so, or not. Slides in like so. Okay, try number three. Let's get this right. Just slides right in, clicks in, camera is not coming out, and then you just insert your adapter into the side. Uh, USB port for the camera and uh, then you put your mic on which I would plug in but it's being used on the M50 right now so the camera would go here and then your mic port is right there you turn the camera settings to external mic standard external mic and you're good to go if you unplug it then it just defaults to the OEM microphone on the camera the other cool thing is it allows you to use a camera lens cap so that's also really nice. Uh, I don't even remember the size of this. We're going to measure just to double check. It's in millimeters for non-camera peoples. So this is a 52 millimeter camera lens cap. You can get these very, very inexpensively. Uh, either a local camera store if you have one near you or uh, through Amazon. But uh, yeah. And now you have protection 
for your camera lens itself. So this is a really, really cool rig. And again, the coolest part is you can attach it to this. You can attach it to any standard uh, tripod or camera stand. But it also allows you to adapt to that. So if you see here, I have a little adapter that GoPro makes that allows me to put the quarter millimeter thread uh, adapter onto the GoPro style stand and you can just screw it on like that and now this so this case is pretty pretty awesome the case is not inexpensive I believe it's about sixty dollars it's made of aluminum I'm not sponsored by any of this we're just sharing what we've used but it's totally totally worth it uh, again, it's Olanzi. I'll put the link in the description on Amazon below. Guys, I'm going to be, you know, we just started an affiliate account with uh, some of the Amazon stuff just to share what we use so you can find it and use it yourselves. You know, so you don't make a ton off that, let's be honest. But it does help, and every little bit helps as we try to improve the channel and try to make things better. You can see from my microphones on this side, I always, always, always carry a clean microfiber in the bag because you want to if you want to clean your lenses or your screens you want to use the microfiber put that guy there this my spare 28 to uh, 28 to 80 zoom lens goes here with the uh, Viltrox adapter attached the GoPro fits in this side pocket the charge packs go here and then it just you know I put I put the GoPro batteries that are new up in this top pocket and I put the Canon batteries that are new in this pocket right here uh, you know right there as I use the batteries if they need charging because I have a little box the box goes in here I just throw the batteries in here so I know they need to be charged just into this little slot this guy folds over nicely and fits in here. This little guy folds down and I just shove in there. Okay, the last thing would be the M50, which is sitting on the tripod. The M50 would go right here. So, all packed in nice. My <clears throat> uh, Joby, Joby uh, tripod just slides into this area right there. You just put it through this strap like so and it goes all the way down and it's a nice compact way that's all i got i just wanted to share that why because we're amateurs and we're trying to build something we want to share i do have a little bit of experience and like i said i have the grace of having some really good friends that are always willing to share and help with uh, camera questions um uh, you know that i've met and known throughout the years in the car community so if any of this helped, please let me know. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. Uh, I can't promise I can answer all of them as I am not a professional camera person, but I can always try to find the source if I didn't link it below or uh, just answer questions on my experience with how I've learned it. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave us a comment, tell us what you think about the equipment. Tell me, tell me if I said something wrong. I may have gotten something wrong, even though I use this all the time. And something car related soon. I know there's some stuff coming up this weekend. We'll hit something up. If not, I might bore you with what we're doing or what we might do to our daily driver, to our Hyundai Elantra. Not an exciting car. But we all have a daily. Have a great week. God bless.